Hi, I'm Heather at PaintRealFiberArts.com and this is my first vlog I'm making. This is the week of the vlog and I can't wait to make more videos for you. Today is the day of the Great American Eclipse and I get to wear these fun glasses and thanks to the family they're up in Oregon seeing the full eclipse and I'm down here in SoCal seeing a half of the eclipse but that's okay. It's still gonna be so neat to wear these um, fun glasses only kind of glasses you want to wear around when you're looking at the sun because you don't want to look at the sun as well as to make you go blind. So um, I would be, I already took a peek at it and it looked like a circle with a C out of it and that was around 9.30 and now it's towards 10, 10 uh, ish and it's supposed to be going into full eclipse mode slowly and then eventually at 10.30 it's supposed to be when we can see it at max. So I'm going to go outside and look at that and I'll tell you more about it in a few. I am back wearing these silly glasses that were so worth wearing because when I was outside I was able to see the partial eclipse and that was the only way I could see it. If you weren't wearing those special sunglasses like I was just wearing, then um, you wouldn't be able to see anything out here in SoCal. It would just look like a super bright normal day outside and everything. So it was super cool to see um, the partial eclipse with it. It was like the moon was eating the sun and it had like a quarter of the sun sticking out and it was so neat. It looked like a quarter moon with the a glowing orangey yellow color in place of its normal color that the moon is. And that's what it looked like with the moon being black and the sun being the glory, glowing orangey yellow color that was in place of the moon. <laughs> it was really cool to see the cool crescent shape of that. And I really liked um, seeing that. And it was so pretty. And I'm sure in other places it was even more prettier. And I wish I could have saw that. Because I love space stuff. And I love stars, and I love the moon, and I love the sun, and I love seeing all that. But as for today, it was really neat seeing that, and I could see sunspots swirling around the sun, and it was so neat to see that, because without the special sunglasses, I would never, ever, ever saw such a cool thing like that. And it was super pretty and cool, and I'm sure the neighbors were like, what is she doing out there with those weird glasses? Well, those were to protect my eyes. And that's all it was. And they're like, why can't we see anything? Well, you need special sunglasses, of course. Other than that, you can't see the half eclipse out here in SoCal. And that's what it even said on the description of what was going to happen out here. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to write more on this vlog as the day go by and in a couple days I'll be editing it and posting it at the end of the week. Can't wait to be showing off some really cool crochet things that I'm making as well as I hope to dye some yarn soon. I'll be showing that off and getting ready for opening my store as well as showing you what my daily life is about. Talk to you more soon. Bye bye. Hi, I'm updating my vlog today. It is August 23rd, 2017 and this is what's been going on with me since yesterday. Yesterday we got four ceiling fans installed in the house. One in my son's bedroom, one in my bedroom, one in the spare bedroom, and one in the kitchen. They look like this. And that's what they look like. They're working out awesome because then it means that our house is going to be cooler and not so hot in the summer because it's way too hot things to revolt the ceilings as well as um it's so cow so it's super hot <laughs> in the summer so it's going to be nice and cool in the house and save us money due to this using the AC unit another thing i did yesterday was dip my feet in the pool it felt nice and relaxing when i was hanging out with my mommy took back some bottles at the bottle shop and returned them all and um, ended up making $30 and it was really gross and I'm not going to have to do that again because I don't think I'll be taking that many and if I when I do it again because I like recycling it's going to be a smaller amount and that's gross. Still gross but not as gross and everything. Um, another thing that we ended up doing was having a barbecue over my parents' house, and um, we had burgers, and 
my son loves burgers, so he's super excited. And I had to bring him to school and pick him up and do laundry and some other boring things. But it still was fun overall because I ended up hanging out with my parents and they're really fun to hang out with. And I ended up hanging out with my son and you know, accomplishing the clearing of the backyard with the soda bottle problem and iced tea problem. Two of my favorites. And uh, as well as water bottles. And uh, the kitties have been missing their daddy, so they were super happy when he came home, as well as my son. And I missed him, so I'm super happy that my hubby came home last night. And then as for today, I had to go to the dentist to get one of my teeth fixed. I had a small cavity, which was that's not ever fun, but my dentist is super good and super fast, and she's does the best amazing dental work ever. So that worked out awesome. And I'm about to make a do-it-yourself video that the hubby's gonna film for me, thanks to him being back, and I won't have to film all on my own. And it's gonna be how to make your own mini blocking board for all you crocheters or knitters out there that have small projects. Well, that's the best kind of solution for your blocking issues. So that way your projects all end up equal pieces that are not all over the place or stretched out enough if all you want is one single piece from multiple pieces they'll all be equal sized and it'll look gorgeous so can't wait to show you how to make one of those as well as um, do a little blog about it and update that and social media and all the fun things that I have to do throughout the day and keeping busy so can't wait to make more of my vlog to you as well as my vlog and video you more videos and keep in touch so I'll talk to you more tomorrow. Bye bye. Wow, that's supposed to be the electrical box to like the sprinklers. There's a massive beehive in there. Oh my gosh, day in a life of Heather. Hi, today is August 25th, 2017, and it's Friday. Yay, happy Friday! And uh, so far, what's been going on with me since yesterday, on Thursday, that I didn't do a vlog because I was so busy um, doing a bunch of videos and video editing them so that I could put them up on YouTube, and I ended up putting one up yesterday. It was the do-it-yourself mini blocking board. How to make one in less than 10 minutes. Because I made mine in about five minutes, but if you make it together with me on the video, it might take you a little longer because you never made one where I made one before. So it's a nice, easy project to put together for all those projects that are really small that you need a mini blocking board for that are crocheted or knitted, such as gray squares, triangles, or hexagons, or whatever shape or size that it is, as long as it's small, get to put it on the sticks and push it down and spray water on it and then let it dry and then take it off and voila that's nice and pretty but there's more to it it's in the video as well as it's going to be up on my blog today um in written form if that's the way you prefer to learn things versus the video and i can't wait to show you more videos now that I've learned my video editing um, that I've been learning the last few days and I'm excited to bring to you more videos since now I learned oh I can do it I can video edit and I'm more tech savvy than I thought because usually that's the hubby's area yet like he videoed the Zulay video for you that I made and then he edited it for me and it looked all cool so i was excited i was like i want to learn this too and i've always been curious about the video editing side of things so it was really fun to learn it and to put together some videos and i also filmed the kitties so that way they can have more videos for you too if that's what you prefer to watch the kitties versus me and that was what was going on yesterday and then today i'll be doing some boring laundry and some other things around the house that are boring and 
picking up my son from school the hubby will be doing and he's been dropping him off in the morning for me because he's been home from work and it's been nice to have that little break from doing the two things I do all the time which is picking up my son from school and dropping him off and getting him ready and everything so it's nice that the hubby's back from his trip and had the week off so he was able to do that for me and it's really great can't wait to be putting out my other um, video which is another um, darn good yarn in the box review which I hope you enjoy it's for the month of August and I did the one for July last month and I'll be also writing about that in my blog about previous yarn in the boxes as well as present that's almost it besides our giant beehive that's inside the sprinkler box outside okay so a little clip of um Oh my gosh, it's giant. There must be like a million bees in there. And then a few weeks ago, I saw this giant, giant one. It's like so big. And it, I looked it up online, it was like one of those killer bees. So I'm glad that it was dead and not alive. But it was like in front of my garage. And I don't want those bees to be like that. As much as I love bees, I don't like them that close to my house or living in a sprinkler box that they can become jumbo bees and not to mention my son's never been stung by a bee and he walks by it all the time and I just don't want him to get stung and I don't want to get stung by a thousand bees over there oh my gosh so scary so we're gonna be telling the homeowners to get rid of it and hopefully they do it soon and relocate those poor bees um other than that um there's always crazy adventures in my life and I'll be telling you more about it can't wait Talk to you later. Bye bye. Hi, today is Saturday, August 26, 2017. And this is the last day of the week for my vlog today and little updates for the week. And um, I'm excited to video edit this because I love video editing and as well as connecting the other videos to this. As well as today is pancake day. The hobby makes like the best pancakes ever for me. So, so yummy. Oh my gosh. And he makes the mini ones for me and he makes the really big ones for our son. And our son is just happily playing on his computer right now. That's Xavier. And he's playing on his computer. Alrighty. And that's why I'm a stay-at-home mommy to that sweet boy. And he is my life. <laughs> so pretty much I do stay-at-home thing. Things with him, which is the stay-at-home mommy life, which is all the mommy things that I get to do with him, as well as I get to do lots of crocheting and crochet art, which will become in my store that should be opening in a couple of months. And I'm going to be talking more about how you get some really cool patterns that I crochet that things with, or how you can just go to my store in a couple of months and buy them for me. <laughs> Can't wait, and I'm going to be showing off a cool video about that, as well as mixing down this lovely vlog for you and putting it all together on my video editing, so that way it's one piece and not like 10 different pieces you're watching and you're like, oh my gosh, I just want to start a second, so many videos, way too many to like, but it's going to be exciting to do. And last day I updated some, um, my blog and I put up the directions on how to make your mini blocking board and for anybody that's interested in the written directions that's where to go so I'm my blog and I also um, put up the craftsy site where my pattern is and talked about that as well in another blog but I will be talking about that in the video as well because I'm excited to show off all my crochet arts always and I'm excited to help you if you would like to crochet those get the pattern because I know how it is on the internet you're like oh my gosh it's super cute and I love this thing but where can I get the pattern because that's how I feel all the time when I go to Pinterest and the pattern doesn't come to me it's just a pretty photo I'm like that's pretty go through a lot of others I'm like that's not it that's not it and I realized that oh the person just didn't give us the pattern or where it came from or it's under a layer of, of 10 million others but it looks nice and pretty but it's still I would like the patterns always and 
and I haven't been uh, posting those together with mine yet because I've been just getting my stuff together and I just started this, but uh, I will be putting them together so other people don't have that inconvenience that I've had. Update you with a lot of fun stuff coming next week. I will talk to you later. Please visit me at my blog, painterroomfiberarts.com, as well as me on Facebook, Instagram, Blog Loving, and Twitter. And all those links are down below. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to me. And also, I love comments. Please make a comment if you have any comments about this video or how to improve it or make it better or what you would like to see in my vlogs. And also, um, if you would like to email me, last but not least, you can contact me at paintofworldfiberarts at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.